All right, today we have Mushoku Tensei Season 2, Episode 11. Now, before we get into anything, we do have a question over from the Q&A section on the Discord. Remember, if there's any specific question you guys have to me about any of the shows or episodes, I'll try to answer them. At least one question before the episode starts, so check out that Discord Q&A section. This one comes from Evie Next or Evie Neeks. Sorry if I uh, butcher the pronunciation, I apologize. But he asks, which of these three waifus will end up with Rudy, in your opinion? Roxy, Sylphie, or Eris? First off, thank you, Evie, for the question. Great question. I want, personally, Sylphie to end up with uh, Rudy, but I think, according to the story, it's going to be Eris, just because of how his personal feelings and everything ties into the story and the family and everything that they've gone through together. And I get it, going through uh, Disaster, traveling the con and all that. I'm cool with him ending up with Eris, absolutely. But if I had to choose, I would choose Sylphie, just because I think that whole saving from bullying growing up together being like the one thing she truly cares about in this world she doesn't really like you know i don't know it's a great question thank you evie remember guys check out that q a if you ever want to ask me any questions check out that patreon early access full length all that jazz let's hop right into today's episode with up with tensei season two episode 11 let's do it my partner's long-awaited reawakening <laughs> my man's in love because you guys are cool we're not interested in political depth you know good way to put it what more is there to say i have no intention of going against you guys i have no intention of my political family you know that's that's why I respect you going out of your way to be mature about it, Rudy. I respect it, man. I respect it. Me too, Ariel. Me too. That is the question of the hour. Make a move. Make a move, Sylphie. Thank you, Ariel, for saying it like that. Please do it. If she's the one herself is saying it's not, you know, what do you want to do? Tell me the wholesome truth deep from your heart. What do you want? And I know you want to tell him. Hmm. I like it. Now you go get your man, girl. Maybe the bath one? He saved you from being bullied, of course, back when you had green hair. But I... I remember that. When he thought I was a boy, and we got naked, and then... We'll say that was awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. Yeah, what a awesome story. <laughs> I assume full blown. Get married, have a bunch of kids. Seventy four to be exact. <laughs> <laughs> Good Ariel's face. Hey, girl, this is not your fan fiction. Don't just start describing. <laughs> what the fuck is she doing, Sophie? So if you can't work up the courage to tell him, like, don't talk to him at all. Take this seriously. Okay. <laughs> Bro, when I tell you how season one ended, if was I ever expecting this to be even remotely near the plot of season two? Not even in the realm of possibility. Not even a myriad thought of this would ever go in my head. I'm not saying I dislike it. I'm just very surprised, we'll say. Yes, 
Doesn't matter. He wants to help you. He's risen. <laughs> That's some game right there. I gotta write that down. A group of two to go out there and get a flower together. <laughs> Come on, Rudy. Get a, get a hint. Rudy! 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 Rudy is like other anime main characters, is so bad at taking hints or stuff like that, you know? Uh, it's crazy to think that another girl got us this, you know, for our birthday. Yep. Okay, all according to the plan so far. What's the next step? We should. She was gonna say we should take shelter together, and you know. So she's doing a cumulo nimbus spell in order to get them to find shelter together. Come on, Rudy. She is using so much mana and so much energy to make it rain. Where he's like, ah, I can't stop it. Kind of weird. Interesting. Ooh, a cave? Shelter? That sounds perfect! Good idea! I am praying no actual issues, threats, or obstacles arise from this, and I hope everything works out okay. So you're able to... Okay. He's over here thinking as if it's something, an outward threat, you know, something like, you know. Yeah, but she's tense for another reason. That's so funny. Okay, that's Now this is either going to work out hopefully very well or very awkward and not work out at all. And by very well, I don't mean what you guys think I mean. I just want them to like know and be cool, you know? Uh, very mature way to handle that. Lessen the uncomfortableness. Right, like I'm saying this is either going to be super awkward or I feel like I low key should not be watching this right now. I can't lie to you. The blushing ears. The blushing ears. I'm praying he can put it together. Imagine he puts it together at the very last second. Oh, yeah, the glasses. Technically, have not seen her whole face yet this entire time. Is this where we're going to be? The info kicks in? Imagine if Sophie had green hair. It would just click in an instant, you know? Okay. It was a very long time coming. He's been meaning to say that for a long time. Well, this is nice. Knowing Mushoku Tensei, I was expecting pure awkwardness, pure... There's nothing good, but... 
They're both feeling probably very cathartic. For such a long time, I've been wanting to say this, you know? Finally, a weight lifted off your shoulders. Oh! Ho -ho. That's kind of a... Oh, is that where it ends? No shot! Oh! And next week's the last episode of this core. You gotta wait like six months. Bro. Ugh. I've been waiting for that for so long. Ah, oh, well, huge shout out to Evie for asking me that Q&A question before this episode, because if I didn't want Sophie to win before this, I definitely want Sophie to win now. Like, they're just so... She's just like a, 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 a nice, caring, compassionate person. Like, even the conversation she has with Ariel, even the thing she knows Rudy is like a, a crude, you know, like, she's willing to accept people for who they are. She doesn't want you to, like... Sophie's just a nice person. And in the world like Mushoku Tensei, like Jobless Reincarnation, my opinion, it's very rare to find people like that. So don't get me wrong, Eris, absolutely amazing person. Roxy, absolutely fantastic person. I just think I want Rudy and Sophie to be together, just me personally. But overall, great episode. Finally, finally got to a point I've been waiting for for episodes literal at this point weeks weeks i've been waiting so glad that finally happened huge shout out to sophie for getting the courage to do it huge shout out to ariel for literally putting this plan in action making sophie do this i appreciate that the entirety was like a it literally feels like a slice of life rom-com that's why i can't get this show like what vibe are you going for we're going from season one which is pure reincarnation rebirth dealing with social anxiety we're, cementing ourselves as being comfortable with our body and in this world making friends socializing so now we have to travel the continent death this out the third like and now we're like it's so different it's so interesting i don't know i don't know i thoroughly enjoyed this episode though if you guys did as well please leave a like check out that q a section on the discord as well if you guys ever want to ask me anything other than that don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day after squad peace out